looks like summer outside today. So I think this week is going to be a little bit all over the place to say the least. We are so unsettled right now and I, I don't love it. We really don't know when we're going to be able to get into our new house. It just seems like the deadline on that keeps getting pushed back and back. And it's almost at the point where I don't even want to think about that anymore. I just need to focus on where we're going to exist, sleep, eat from week to week. Um, because we have to leave this place on Thursday and the weekend coming is Easter weekend. So every single place is booked. To make matters harder, we've also got Rue and we also have to still be in like commutable distance for Kenny to get to work. So there really is just nothing. So I think by... The looks of things, I'm gonna to have to go and stay with my sister. So really, I don't have any idea what this week is going to look like. I kind of thought I would bring you along this week, but from the perspective of like a food diary. So it's kind of like a what I eat in a week, but also obviously I'll share bits of my week and you can see how it unfolds with me because really it's a mystery to us both at this point. I honestly can't wait for a bit of like normality and stability back in our lives. We'll get there. weirdest lunch because we honestly just don't have any food here um we need to do a food shop later probably but i am going to basically just make like pesto greens on toast normally i'd obviously put some tofu or some chickpeas or something with this but we don't have any so we're just we're just going with it This is like a little ginger biscuit, which is from Dove's Farm. I think that's what it's called. There's just nothing better at like three o'clock than a cup of tea and a biscuit. Kenny actually found this hilarious video the other day where he was filming Rue, but then I walked past in the background and I sound just so old and British in it. Doing the biggest sign saying how I could really use a cup of tea. And it just made me laugh because it really sums me up. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on something that we were kind of talking about last week. Just about the fact that I'm trying to kind of use this time that we're between houses to just slow down and just be a little bit more intentional with my time and how I'm choosing to spend my time. And one of the things I mentioned last week was just spending a little bit less time on my phone. But since then, I've actually discovered a new kind of social platform called Ethos, who very kindly sponsored this part of the video. Where Ethos is different is it's a social platform, but it's all based around causes, communities, conversations, and kind of bringing like-minded people together to discuss things that really matter to them. So let me show you on the app, and I thought we could do my first post on there together. So this is like my homepage. But what I'm going to do is in the search bar, I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in plant-based because that's obviously a kind of cause or topic that I care about. And this is the kind of stuff that it brings up. So the first post is talking about Mildred's in London, um, which is just like a recommendation for Mildred's. I love Mildred's. You will have seen me go to Mildred's all the time. The next one is new vegan finds. We've got veganuary recommendations. We've got a vegan stir fry recipe but obviously that's just one cause but you can search for slow fashion you could search for kind of trending things that people are talking about with the environment people are talking about in the news pretty much whatever so let's make my first post together so this is my little page so i think the first post i'm going to do is going to be about the book that i'm currently reading so here's my little picture of the book that i'm reading so i've titled it a really eye-opening read around mental health and then i could write more about it underneath here but i think that kind of sums it up and then you kind of select which cause your post is related to. So I am going to go into health and routine. I think I'm going to put it under recipes for change. I'm going to view my post. So this is what my post will look like. So I'm going to share my post. But yeah, I just thought I would share ethos with you because I think it's a really 
nice platform if you're wanting to be slightly more intentional about what media you're consuming but you still want that kind of like social human connection side that is so great about social media the app is completely free to download so i will pop a link in my description and you can go check it out for yourself dinner time and Kenny is just cooking up some pasta but in the meantime he's made some of these little garlic fried potatoes to snack on which are really yummy mm -mm -mm. so what kind of pasta are we having Kenny with what kind of sauce, sauce. since we've been in an Airbnb obviously we haven't had like our usual ingredients and stuff and we also haven't wanted to buy too much at the supermarkets because we don't want to waste anything or have to transport any more than we already do um so we're kind of like making do so for the tomato sauce tonight for example it's like a store-bought sauce i'll show you so we're using this one which is just like this is what it looks like and we've actually got really yummy pasta as well which is this one because obviously at home we normally have whole wheat pasta just because you know everyone knows that white pasta is superior but we eat pasta like honestly three times a week and i just think for our gut health whole wheat is better i can see that kenny's still making like a celery and carrot kind of mix thing to add the sauce into just to give it like a bit of extra you say something. store yeah pretty much just tomatoes. i don't like really sweet tomato sauces do you like sweet ones yeah but anyway that's what we're doing for dinner tonight so i'll show you what we've got going on in the kitchen I discovered this chocolate yesterday it is so good like the yummiest melt in your mouth like hazelnutty just the best chocolate ever if you've tried the other on bar ones and they're a bit too healthy for you don't let that put you off because me too but this one is like a oat milk one you have to try it it's so good
it's another moving day. We are heading back to Manchester just for the night tonight and then I'm actually moving on again tomorrow. It's so unsettled at the moment but I'm hoping soon that will change. Sorry, I look very dishevelled right now because I've been walking real on the beach so my hair is just everywhere. So basically what's in this box is mixed butter beans and chickpeas, then this kind of like pomegranate mixed salad i think there's like some mango pomegranate tomato cucumber just all the regular bits then that's a little flatbread that's vegan yogurt and then i got fries as well but underneath is actually some brown rice but i just got fries because i thought i know kenny and he will definitely steal a fry do you want one? Oh yeah you can kind of see the rice just through there no you can't already be waiting <laughs> anyway that's my lunch today and now we're on the road and we're heading back to manchester for the night tonight just checked into yet another hotel but I'm actually just so glad to be here because I have been on my feet since like 10 o'clock this morning and it must be coming up to like 6 p.m or something. I'll show you the room quickly. So when you come into the room you've got this little like mini kitchen kind of area over here and then um I hope there's some water in the fridge I'm so thirsty but then a uh, little oven thing there and then nice big window and then over here is the bed, little sofa, little dining table. Um, this is just a studio. We just literally booked like the most basic room, um, or at least it was the most basic one that was available. I think it was like 75 pounds or something. Um, and then this is the bathroom. But I'm actually super happy with it. It's dog friendly, really clean. Um, it's not super tiny as well, considering it's a studio. So would definitely recommend. <laughs> Need to go and do some returns. We're being really indecisive about dinner, so we're just having starters of soup that we had left over, and then Kenny's put some toast in as well for us, and then we're going to pick somewhere Three minutes, actually. for dinner. This is the one that I'm having. It's got like noodles and stuff in, um, and then we need to have a chat about dinner. We're just walking into town now to try and find some food. I think we'll probably just end up getting like a burger or something because we just want something quick and easy now. What's this David Attenham show called, Kenny? Wild Isles. Wild Isles. It's really good. Friday morning and I've just arrived at my sister's which is pretty much where I'm going to be staying for the foreseeable future until the house is ready or at least ready enough for us to move in. The exciting news is the decorators are actually in this weekend only for the top couple of floors. The ground floor like the kitchen and everything we are nowhere near still um, but if we can even just get in to the top two floors then we can live there and obviously we'll just have to do a lot of not cooking, eating out and all that kind of stuff, which is not the best, but it's better than the situation we're in now because basically for now, Kenny and I are going to have to live separately because it was just proving too hard to like move between Airbnbs and hotels and have all of our stuff and also Rue and it was just a lot. So I'm gonna basically stay with my sister until we can move in and Kenny is in his like football club hotel up north. The upside is I get to spend some time with my sister. My mum's here today as well. We've got the two dogs and I think we're just gonna have a really lovely chilled girly day. My dad's away as well. About to make some really quick lunch for my mum and I. And then I think we're gonna take the dogs out, go for a nice long walk, go for a coffee, do a big food shop. We need to go to Waitrose and like get all the ingredients for dinner and stuff. And then this evening, hopefully the weather holds out and we can have a nice sunny, dinner in the garden because my sister said she'll cook so should be good.
I just thought I'd quickly run through everything that we picked up from the shop. This is just gonna feed us for the weekend. So where should I start? This is mostly like fresh fruits and veggies and stuff. So we've got some strawberries, some tomatoes, avocado, we've got tofu, frozen raspberries and blueberries. We've got some olives. We have got green kiwis, a lime, some artichokes just for like snacky bits. Um, sushi ginger, because Sophie's going to make some vegan sushi at some point for us. Then I got some brown rice, um, noodles, some soup. We all really like this re nourish one. Then I got some oat cakes just to have with things like this, this olive tapenade just to dip into there. Um, chickpeas, some pre lentils, kimchi, some chocolate. This is the best chocolate. I go on about this all the time. Um, Mum got some jackfruit, then some lentil cakes. These are like, they're like rice cakes, but made with lentil flour. And then some soy sauce, I guess, to have with our sushi. And that is everything that we picked up. I mean, it probably won't do us for the whole weekend, but it's a good start. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. Sophie is about to make some dinner for my mum and I. I am hearing vegan sushi, which I've personally never made. So I'm really interested to see how Sophie does this. And then, like I said earlier, I'm just gonna sit outside. It's the most beautiful day today. We've been so lucky with the weather. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have a really nice first outside dinner of the year, which is so nice. It finally feels like spring is actually arriving. So yeah, let me go find my sister and we can start with dinner prep. So this is dinner now that it's all done. I can't take any credit for this. It was definitely all Sophie. So we have our little sushi rolls, which have got carrot, cucumber, tofu, aubergine, mushroom, green beans, um, spring onion, I think. I'm not sure what else, like sesame seeds and stuff. This, oh, this is basically the ingredients. These are all the leftover bits that we um, just popped in a bowl. Then we've got our pickled ginger and then some soy sauce just for dipping but it looks really good. Good job, Soph. <laughs> Just wanted to really quickly say that I'm sorry if my videos are a bit all over the place at the moment. I want consistency and stability back in my life and organization more than you can possibly imagine. For just a tiny little bit longer, it might be a bit all over the place, but so soon, so soon, things will start to be actually really exciting and there'll be loads of fresh things I can show you and loads of updates with the house and just a whole new environment to film in, a new kitchen um, to cook in with Kenny and stuff. And I'm just, Really, really, really ready for that chapter now. I mean, I've been ready for that for months, let's be honest. Um, but we really are so close now. So yeah, thank you so much for being so patient with me. Um, and good things are coming. Good things are coming. I hope you have the best week ever and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye guys.